All right, um, I'm on our houseboat. Um, it's uh, middle of the day. Everybody's taking their siesta. It's lunch, and I wanted to go over some of the essential gear I'm using in the Rio Negro. So I brought uh, a total of four fishing rods, two eight weight fly rods, and two bait casters, one medium and one medium heavy. Here, we're gonna go over the, as I said, the essentials. So this is what I've been using every day. We're on our fifth day or our penultimate day. So this here is uh, my go-to bait caster. Uh, it's a medium bait caster, Shimano rod. Okay, the thing is excellent and has a Shimano uh, 2000, um, 2000 XG Shimano bait casting reel with, I believe, 50 pound braid. I'd have to double check on that, but I believe that's what's on here. This here is, I've uh, been catching on the bait cast, the, the overwhelming majority of the fish you would see in the videos, uh, the fishing videos have been caught on, on different jigs. This one here, you can see is pretty banged up. Okay, it's a lot of, lot of fish on this one. And uh, so th this is really my go-to bait caster. Um, the fly fishing I've done has been uh, almost exclusively from the uh, from wading in, off of sandbars, not really from the boat. The boat's a little too tight with all the equipment and shit that we have on. This here is my go-to fly rod on this particular trip. It is my eight-weight Orvis Recon, and with the matching uh, Orvis reel, the Hydros SL4. And uh, this has some really nice action. I have caught perhaps a dozen or so uh, peacock bass and a handful of other species such as wolffish. Here is one of the uh, patterns that I've been using, the flies. As you can see, here this pattern literally mimics this um, white and red uh, jig. Here are some of the other patterns that I have been using. I, I brought about two dozen flies with me, but this is kind of the ones I've been using. This one here has been totally destroyed by a wolf fish. This uh, blue and grayish one here. But all of these patterns have worked exceedingly well with the uh, peacock bass, really fishing off of sandbars uh, into the into the current or into the little finger channels off of the sandbars and you'll see those uh, in in different videos as well and here we have more selection of various lures I have been using uh, on on this trip uh, some of these here were made by Igor and I've got videos also comparing the two different uh, lures so this here is a, uh, this one here is his pop sticker. I have caught quite a few peacock bass on that baby. And uh, this is the Brazilian lure I picked up in Manaus. It's called the Perversa. And um, this one here, you could really see quite a bit of the damage that uh, this one has gone through with various size peacock bass uh, and wolf fish and some of the other assorted ones. Here are some jigs. This is a, uh, a, this one's been used. This one's been used a little beaten up as you can see here on, on the head, all beaten up. This one has taken quite a few peacock bass. These ones here are really interesting because here you can see how, how this has been cut. This was not cut by scissors. This one was decimated by piranhas, where they bite off almost like a razor blade the tails off of these jigs. So the, these particular pattern was most popular with the piranhas, while the other ones here, not so much. So um, these are the Stevie Stinger jigs from Steve Townsend from Amazon Angler. And uh, I started this trip with 
close to 20 jigs. I think five days in, I probably have two or three that are unopened and the rest are in various states of um, fishing, such as, such as these are, are basically useless for uh, the peacock bass because they really like these long tails. These ones, like I said, have been eaten by the freaking piranhas. Um, so that, that is, um, that, that's kind of it as far as the essential fishing gear, what I've been using. Like I said, we are five days into this trip. Tomorrow is the last fishing day and this, this is what I'll be hitting the, uh, the river with later this afternoon after lunch and also what I'll be hitting the river with tomorrow on our uh, last day of uh, fishing out here in the Rio Negro, which has been absolutely awesome. Uh, and if uh, anybody who's watching this video is interested in fishing in the Amazon, I, I can't recommend highly enough uh, Steve Townsend of Amazon Angler. Uh, this is, his link will be in the description. And it's just awesome, awesome scenery weather it's as, it's as hot as balls out here we are right now one degree six or seven minutes south of the equator so we're it's like 90 miles not even south of the equator so uh it is what it is it's hot as hell all right so that's it for the essential gear this is what i've been using every day for the last five days you can see things are are banged up uh as well as they should be on a productive fishing trip so until later, tight lines, everybody.